Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to a new video here. Uh, as you see in the title, 1 to 100 mil is what we're going to achieve in this series. Now, this is not going to happen instantly. Uh, this is going to be a long rebuild to get 100 mil. The, the goal with this is to get 100 mil cash tag in my bank um, besides all my items. Now, I've seen a lot of videos where they go from 1 to 10 mil in a day from zero GP. Like, literally, the whole bank is zeroed. But I'm not going to go that extreme. I'm still going to have what I have on my bank. I did go ahead and sell all my uh, runes and stuff. Uh, Teletaps, I'm just going to leave. I have a bunch of natural runes because I am training uh, mage right now. So that's where all my money is. I did go ahead and sell all my prayer potions and now everything like that. Just to give it kind of a challenge and to see how long it will actually take to rebuild a bank from 1 GP to 100 uh, mil. Uh, this is also my uh, combat tab. I'm not going to sell that. I do have a fury, so that's going to be a little bit of a head start, but that's all right. Uh, this will imply to anybody that does this from the start anyway. So uh, this is just my, you know, all kind of weird stuff in this tab. I have my magic longbows, which I am alking, and uh, that money is not going to be included in the final when I have 100 mil because my goal is to get 100 mil up here. Uh, and uh, we are going to get it. This is just my quest tab. There's nothing in there. So uh, let's get started. All right. To get a start capital, uh, just to get things rolling in the beginning, we're going to go collect some fungus. Now, there are some requirements you need to, for this. It's the nature spirit quest. So you can uh, get the silver circle. And you also need access to the Mortania or whatever it's called, the swamp up in Canifis. And um, the way I do this is... I do it by the fairy rings, so I do uh, the destination BKR, and what I do is I go to the swamp right here, and um, then I run up here to the south, and uh, then you need to find three logs, and that's right up here to the south is three logs, and then you just cast it like this, and uh, pretty much collect it till you have a full inventory. This is a very, very easy way of making money. This is about 600k an hour, I do believe, depending on what kind of way you have to get here. The fastest way, I believe, to get here is to have a teleport to Canifus in your house and then just run from there. But this is also really quick. It's, I think this is kind of about the same thing, and it's a little bit less requirements because I don't have Desert Treasure done. And... Uh, this is a pretty good way of getting here with the fairy rings. The only bad thing is that you need to have a staff and you basically lose one space in your inventory, but that doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it goes really quick. And uh, I'm going to show you how I bank when I have a full inventory. All right, so this is why I recommend you also to have higher prayer because uh, I ran out. Most times I do get a full inventory, but this time I was just unlucky. After you are done, uh, or your prayer po uh, po points are out. You will teleport to your house. Um, and uh, you also need a prayer altar in your house. So what I do is that I go pray at the altar. Then I run over to my trophy room. And I teleport to Edgeville. Plus it's very, very close to a bank. Um, so let's do this a bunch of times until we have enough. Um, and I'll be back then. Alright, so just to price check the inventories and every time uh, what you lose and win. So, uh, you do have to spend 661 GP on a Teletab, but uh, you also get almost 20k for every inventory you do. So, this is a pretty good way to get a start capital out there. Also, I did not say that in the beginning, but if you have armor like that guy just had there, I forget what it's called, but the agility armor, that one right there. So you never run out of energy. That would help a lot, actually. and uh, Or a spotted cape or light of, um, I think, swiftness or lightness. I forget what they're called. But that'll help. Anything that'll help your uh, stamina not to run out will also increase the time. Uh, well, will increase how many fungus you'll get. So that's a, a tip for you. All right. So that maybe took like 10 minutes or so. It didn't uh, take long at all. So uh, let's sell these to get some supplies and uh, see if they'll sell. No? Okay, whatever. We'll just sell them pretty cheap then. We'll do that. 164k so far. Um, 10 minutes in or something like that. So that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is to buy some jug of wine actually. This is what I use when I go out 
and do range because it heals as much as a lobster and it costs as you saw like three gp um so that's personally what i use when i do uh, like green dragons or slayer tasks when i do range and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some green dragons now all right so we're at green dragons and if you didn't have armor or anything that's the point where you buy the bolts and everything but since i already had that uh, I'm not going to bother to buy any more. I do need to buy some more runic bolts eventually, though. That's what I use. I should probably just use Mithril or something, but it's not too expensive. And you do hit better, so you do get better XP and uh, kills per hour. So we're going to do this for a while, and we do have the looting bag with us. If you don't have a looting bag, pretty much just kill anything in their wilderness, and you'll get one eventually. Uh, I think Chaos Druid's down there at... Um, Edgeville will drop them as well, so just go there, <laughs> there. Just go there and uh, kill them until you get a looting bag, and that's also going to dramatically uh, increase your, uh, you know, income or how much you'll get per hour here. Also, if you see do see any P carries, just tele tab, uh, uh, you know, immediately. It doesn't take long to get out here, and it's not worth trying to kill them either. So just tele tab, and we're gonna do this for a while, and uh, I'll be back later. All right, so let's uh, price check one run of the Green Dragons, which took about maybe not too long. It took like 10 minutes or so as well. So this is a pretty good money-making guide as well. All right, so that was just two ways of making money that I shared with you guys. Um, reason why I did those th uh, two things is because I do want to do barrows. Now, I know that I'm not very high combat level, so I'm probably not going to be super-duper profitable. I just want to try my luck out and see if we can get any good items. Um, not sure, but we are going to try. And uh, we're going to buy some Barrow's equipment. And, uh, well, I do have the equipment that I need already. But let's see. It's been like half an hour maybe or so. And I've gained uh, 300k, which is pretty decent, I must say. It's not bad at all. So we are going to do Barrow's and uh, I just need to buy some death runes and mind runes. All right, so we're here at Barrows, and this is my inventory right now. Um, I'm doing range and magic, and that's not going to be affected by uh, the jug of wine. But if I did melee, I, I don't do melee on Barrows, actually, because my range is stronger than melee, so it actually goes faster for me to kill uh, Karel with me uh, range. Uh, so this is my setup when I go to Barrows. Uh, I do spend kind of a lot on an inventory. Well, not really, but I do spend, uh, let's see, 21k plus those. Uh, so I do spend around 20, 23k maybe with the runes in. So I'm not going to make that much money unless I get a Barrow's item. So we'll hope for a Barrow's item. Let's go. We are going to open this chest and hope uh, that we get a Barrow's item. No, but you know what? That is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so we did actually make a profit this time. We did make around 60K, so that's not too bad. You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> I got DC'd while I did Kirill. My prayer went out, and he killed me. Frick's sakes. All right, so I went back, and uh, one really good thing that I can give you as a tip when you do Barrows, especially nowadays, is to remember what world you logged into, because I do not remember what world I logged into. And therefore, we lost all our runes and all the rune and all my armor. So I don't know how much I lost, but this is going to put us on a setback for sure. I lost all my Barrows tabs and everything like that, and uh, I lost... Let's see here. Lost my Runkai Chill, my Dragon Dagger, lost Mystic Hat, my Slayer Staff, Ring of Wealth, Boots, uh, Rune Play Body. So, I mean, all in all, and I lost like 300 uh, Death Runes. So, I mean, probably lost like 300k or 400k. Something. I, don't, I don't know how much that adds up to. But luckily, frick, man, I, I was so worried I was going to lose my Void. And uh, my Fury and my Obby Cape stayed. So, luckily, we didn't lose too much of value. If I lost my Void, I probably would have freaking crapped myself. And uh, I also didn't lose my Fury or my Obsidian Cape. So, I mean, technically, we didn't lose that much. But this is going to set us back. We can't do Barrows right now because I don't have the money to go there. 
Um, so we're gonna find another way how to make money a little bit. So let's try something else. All right, so my next way of making money a little bit right now is to do some unicorn horns to dust. Now you can see I did 10 uh, and you basically get, uh, it's a pretty good margin right now actually. So we're going to make a few of these. I think we are going to buy uh, maybe 100K worth of, uh, Actually, I did go and collect just a little bit more fungus to give me a little bit more start capital here. Uh, so we're going to buy some unicorn horns, and let's see how much we can buy for this. We can buy... There we go. And they should buy instantly, too, pretty much. Um, they're not very hard to buy, and... Uh, they're not very hard to sell. So we're going to do this, and we're, uh, we'll see how much money we make out of them. And uh, you don't have it. <clears throat> you don't need any requirements. It just takes a while to do every inventory, but I'll be back. All right, so that took like five minutes or something like that. And this is also kind of a money-making guide you can do. Uh, nothing I'll be doing too long because you don't make that much money, but we made about 10K there, and it didn't take that long. But it did take a while to buy them a little bit, so I wouldn't probably recommend to do that for a long period of time um but anyways this is going to be the end of this first episode whoops of uh the one to uh, 100 mil gp bank now i know that um this didn't go as i wanted it to go since we did die at barrows it kind of set us back lately but we'll be back next time and we'll make some more gains i hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did please hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video